All right, guys, this is the second part of the instructional video. This is simply talking about um, the biography page, okay? So again, you would be um, using that website that we got the, that I, I linked already on that slide before. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing my example on Madam CJ Walker. I'm going to go and I'm going to go to the quick facts and I'm going to check out the birth date, the death date, and I'm going to make sure I input that in where it says when she was born and when she died. Where were they born? You take a look down. It's the place of birth. Okay. And it says a family description. So you'll have to go through the information and figure out who was all in her family or their family if you choose one of the other characters. The last thing that you're going to do on this slide is you're going to insert a picture of that person here. Please don't forget that you do need to delete the text in the middle. Okay. Any instructional things like that should always be deleted because that's just going to make your slides look sloppy if you don't. Now, then you can go to insert, image, search the web, and then I'm just going to type in her name, Madam CJ Walker. Okay, and I'm just going to pick up a photo that I like. I always like, typically one of the first ones is always really nice. If it's too big or too small, we drag it down by the corner to shrink it. And then I can grab it and reposition it and make it look really nice in my box. If you guys are not sure, do you see how the red lines are coming up in the middle? The red line, when it makes a nice plus sign like that, means it's lined up smack dab in the middle. Okay, so that is slide number four. Um, again, you can find all that information on that um, active on the biography slide that I've linked on slide number two, depending on who you have picked. Check out the next video for slide five.